Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Become a key member of the TWB family by visiting my Redbubble store and ordering your Traveling with Bruce item today. Hey everybody, Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Cruising is one of the safest ways you can take a vacation. You can understand that you're in a moving vessel uh, going across great stretches of water from time to time. Uh, most of the uh, traveling you're going to do on a cruise ship is in the middle of the night. Uh, you'll visit a port of call, have dinner, uh, you'll be cruising already. Uh, by the time you wake up the next morning, you're in another exotic place. And so uh, it's not often you actually see seems like this unless you, unless you have a sea day. But here is the reward of coming into a port like Venice, for example, uh, checking out the beautiful architecture and uh, seeing history right in front of your eyes. I mean, this is a great way to travel. But I, I have to admit, there are times where it can get dicey, all depending on conditions. Sometimes, like this, it can be an engine failure and your uh, ship is at the mercy of the waves. The waves might be caused a problem with the engine, you never know. Uh, it can also be something like this here, uh, that, that uh, an engine fire can, uh, can start or someone's careless smoking and uh, things can get out of hand uh, or something like this can happen. Uh, you're on a cruise coming back to New York, even from the Caribbean, and you run into one of these winter storms coming up the East Coast and, you know, things can happen. Uh, this just past week, a couple weeks ago, Oasis of the Seas, crane fell on this ship right across the back of the ship and caused all kinds of damage. About a month ago, the Viking Sky was in rough waters just off of Norway when uh, these kinds of waves caused engine levels, oil levels to uh, become unstable and the ship was having problems. Ships can hit other ships, of course. Uh, you know, a scrape like that can happen. Uh, repairs can be done. Unfortunately, this can also happen. Uh, a cruise captain can uh, go by a small town in Italy uh, wanting to say hi to a few people when he wasn't supposed to, and the ship hits some rocks. The next thing you know, it uh, slices open and uh, it sinks. Rough weather has a lot to do with what uh, can go wrong on a cruise if a, if a cruise line isn't careful. Uh, although cruise lines uh, try very hard to avoid these kinds of conditions if at all possible. But uh, you never know. Uh, here's what smoking can do. This is why cruise lines are so adamant about not having smokers smoke on cruise ships. That's what caused this fire right here quite a number of years ago. Here's that crane I was talking about. The Oasis of the Seas cr crashed right across the back of the ship, causing millions of dollars of damage. This is going to take a bit of work to fix up. And uh, thankfully, though, even when a cruise ship like this gets into trouble, um, loss of life is very minimal, if at all. Even on the Norwegian sky, there were no casualties as far as uh, fatalities goes. There were people injured. Yes, there was a lot of a lot of a mess made. Yes. Uh, but thankfully, the ship came through it relatively unscathed, relatively, uh, but not here in this case. The Costa Concordia, total write-off, complete loss, had to be removed, and finally was. But 32 casualties was the tally, even though it went down right beside the shoreline. This, this though, is what we talk about when we go on a cruise. This is what we're looking for. This is what we see. This is what we imagine. And this is normal. Not uncommon for a cruise liner to come on into a harbor like New York and to uh, show off the skyline and the passengers on board getting their cameras out and their binoculars out and seeing a view of a lifetime, that uh, the kind of view that generations of uh, Americans, eventual Americans, got to see by looking at the Statue of Liberty coming into uh, New York Harbor. This is normal for cruising, thankfully. The other pictures I showed you are abnormal, but they can happen. Uh, and it's what makes the newspapers sell. But uh, these shots right here are made for a lifetime and uh, are just what cruising is all about. I hope I didn't freak you out with this video. Join me Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern. We talk cruise ships Monday to Friday, Saturdays at 2 Eastern, six days a week. Subscribe to my channel today and hit the bell notification icon and we'll keep you posted on what's going on out there. And in the meantime, keep on cruising, everybody, and thanks for joining me today. We'll see you later.